Hey, what's up everybody, Aerosocial here. I'm about to be announcing a big new thing for the channel. So as you can see right here, this is a HP Compact 8100 small form factor PC. I actually bought this off eBay for about $50. And sorry, but I just ran because the actual graphics card I got just came for it. And the reason why this is a big deal is because this PC, I can't use it right now since it doesn't have a integrated graphics card. So right now, this is the setup that I'm working with. It's just my main PC over there, my monitor, and my other monitor. I'm going to be hooking up this computer to this monitor. So uh, I'm just going to get this computer out from here, move some things over, and yeah. So I just set you guys up right here. Alright. Sorry about the mouse pad for my dog, too. So we're just gonna be moving my keyboard over here. I just wanna get my monitor off my desk for now. So the reason why I have this computer is so that I could do streaming off my main computer and not impact the performance of it. Since I do have an Elgato and I've had it for a while. A while. So let's just move it over here. Let me see if that's a good view. Not really, let's move it over a little bit more. I'm just gonna move my monitor back. And also, sorry for my dog barking too. I just ran outside and got this, and uh, the male person came, so she's going crazy over that. Alright, move the mouse over. I already also have a keyboard and mouse for this too. So, the first thing we're gonna be given is this already has a AMD Radeon. 4550 I think it is but it doesn't even have a HDMI port so it's like it's kind of going to be hard to use and this PC is in scratch condition but so far I believe it works and this is going to be my little upgrade that I'm going to be doing so let's just try to clear one last thing out alright so if we open it up right here you will see on the inside, let me see if that's a good view. Ah. Alright, not really. But if I tip it over like this, you can see that the graphics card that came in it is right there. Like I said, it's AMD Radeon 4550. Our CPU and CPU coolers there, power supply, optical drive, and then we have a uh, hard drive in there and RAM there. So the first thing we're going to do is take out our old. GPU that came with the system. Oh no, I'm not pulling the pin. So if I show you guys the ports that this has, if you look at that, you can't really use that in today. So I'm gonna try to also sell that, which will be cool. And if you take the new stuff, I got this off eBay for I think it was ten dollars. Ten dollars shipped, and it came within like two days. So. The reason I bought it is because I just want a. Oh, that's not good. I just want a solution until I have more money so that I can upgrade it to be better. Alright, opening up the little packaging that came in. Please check for damage. If there is a problem, so it's like a little damage sheet with damage on it. And then here it is. Alright, so I just realized something that's not going to be very good, and this actually upset me when I just noticed this. I just now noticed it, but I might actually have a solution to it. So here's the card. If you look, I thought that was an HDMI port. That's actually a display port right there, which means basically um, my main monitor right here, this is a display port monitor, but my other one isn't. But this cable, I actually think I have a converter for that, which switches that to HDMI. So our main thing now is just going to be even seeing if it works. So it should be really easy to install. Let's see if it will fit. Yeah, it's going to be a perfect fit too. So let me just bend that back. Stick it into a little slot here. The clip back into place. 
fold that up. And it looks like we are in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just hook it up. So I actually have my DisplayPort monitor. This is kind of unexpected. I'm just gonna hook that up right over here. Okay, looks like that's plugged up. And I had the power cable over here. I already plugged it up. I already plugged the power cable. Okay. And then, let's go over here. If all is good, the fan right there should start spinning and it should turn on. Okay. Oh, we got a green light. Oh my god, you saw it, you saw it, it came on, it came on. What is that? This could be totally unexpected, I don't know what to expect. Okay, so this is strange. I don't know what to do. Uh, let me try hook it up a keyboard. I might have to do some research on this quickly of what this means, but I'm not really used to OEM pro uh, products like this. Okay. You got the keyboard hooked up. So let's try it in the space bar. Nothing. Okay. Enter creates a beep. Any button creates a beep. Okay. Let's try to restart. And get it to bio straight away. I want to try to get into the BIOS because I already have a hard drive in there, which already has, it already has Windows on it. Okay, now we're stuck on this screen. So let's try, I'm just going to be getting rid of this old GPU just putting it over there right now. Let's try one more restart. Okay, so I'm holding the power button. Okay, there we go. this i don't know what to do so i'm gonna be back with you guys in a minute when i am going to google what to do from now and i'm gonna try multiple things for example taking out the hard drive and just trying to boot into bios directly and i'll pick it up from there all right so a short update so so far all i did was take the hard drive out nothing else and I found that cable I was talking about, and you can see like the PC has some like, scrapes there, but that's going to be on the side, so it's not going to really matter. So I found my cable, and I hooked it up, and the monitor is working with the, the cable. That, now the same issue is that we keep getting that blue screen, and I would try plugging this cable into the old Drax card. But as you can see, there are different holes, they don't line up. So... I don't really know what to do here. I might try contact and HP support, but I'm not sure if they're going to help me since I'm using a different graphics card and since I bought the PC used. But I'm just going to try a few more things like unplugging the optical drive and uh, unplugging the RAM, trying to unplug most of the stuff as possible or see if there's any way to like, troubleshoot it and get into the BIOS. Alright guys, so we got a new screen right now. So. Right now, I just booted up and it said F10 for setup, and F10 means like a BIOS. 
So I clicked it, and right now I'm at this screen. It says uh, the like the name of the PC, and it says um, I guess it's I, I'm guessing that's RAM. All I did was oh, we got one beep. It's setting it up right now. Yep, that's good. One gigabyte, uh, four gigabytes of RAM. So all I did was remove the CMOS battery, which I put it over there. Basically, that saves uh, configuration, which like the last person had. I after I took it out, I actually saw the clear CMOS button, that yellow button right there. So I probably could have just hit that button, but we're just gonna. Oh, so I just saw the BIOS menu. So we got further than we did last time. So we're gonna do uh, the hard drive's not installed either. So we're gonna do F10. We're gonna uh, do English. Then I want to do system information. And I'm just gonna look over this. So if you see, we have a i5 7500, uh, 70, I'm gonna say 750, clocked at 2.67 gigahertz. But people said that sometimes, um, or, I mean, Turbo Boost can get it up to like 3.4, I think it was. We have four gigabytes of DDR3 memory, single channel, right there. Uh, Apparently, I mean, the video card has to be working or we would not be on the screen right now. i um, super excited right now. Only issue is that we do not have the... We do not have the... What do you call it? I just want to try to get it into the screen. PCIe devices. Let's see if we can see. Select PCI devices. Alright, it's not there. I was trying to see if we could see the video card. Yeah, whatever. I can't get out of the screen now. Come on, what'd I do? What'd I do? Okay. So, so far it seems to be really good since we got into the BIOS, but there's no hard drive installed. So, what I'm gonna try doing is I'm gonna be trying to use this SATA cable instead of this one, and try using a different SATA power cable. So, I'll take you guys along for that journey. Let me just set you up over here again so I can use two hands. Okay, like that. And so I'm just gonna unplug it. I'm gonna put the battery back in. Then I'm gonna click the clear CMOS button. Like that. And it should clear the battery. Then I'm gonna take a different SATA cable. My goal right now is to get it to load up to Windows. That's my goal right now. Plug that up. Just grab this power. Plug it up. Okay, batteries in. I'm not gonna plug it up with the uh -huh optical drive right now. But now let's see. It boots. It booted on its own. Okay, so that's the error we're getting right now. I don't know what to do to fix that. That could be an issue because I, I got that error every time. I, every time I, that's something with the hard drive, because whenever I plug in the hard drive, I get that. I don't know what to do here. I might try using a. I might take the SSD out of my main computer and try booting up with that and see if that boots because I don't know it's something with this hard drive or it's just something with the computer which I'm going to have to do more research on. So I'll be back with you guys. Put the SSD in, booted it, and look what happened. So the last thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to take a uh, say the cable out of my main computer and put it in here. And see if that's the issue, and if it is the issue, I don't know what I'm going to do, because I actually ordered SATA cables, but they're not going to be coming for about two weeks. And I only have two SATA cables, so I don't know what I'm going to do. But let me I'm just going to show you guys that if I take the hard drive out too, if I take the hard drive out and boot it, and just that's what I'm going to do, just unplug it. It's kind of hard since I only have one hand. Yes, I just put my SSD in my mouth. It's kind of nasty, but all right. Plug in the power cable. If you look at it, it just boots up on itself, or if I click the power button. And it boots straight into the BIOS. Bam. BIOS right there. So, I don't know, it's something with a hard drive that whenever I plug in a hard drive, 
it instantly goes to that flashing white screen. So the next thing I'm going to do is try, I don't know if I could put in an MD hard drive, would that fix it? Because like I said, the hard drive that I'm already putting in there already had Windows 10 on it and a couple programs. This hard drive has all my main computer stuff on it. Or SD. Well, I'm just going to wait for this again and I'm going to do some research. More research and... Okay, so it detects... Might be a dead CMOS battery actually. Click the reset button. Okay. So now with even no hard drive installed, I'm still getting that screen. So I'm gonna try to do uh, I'm gonna try to do some research and find out what that means. I'm gonna do like HP computer hard drive plugged in flash in white underscore. So I'll be back. All right, guys. So I got the PC booted to the screen with the hard drive. So what I did and I I feel it moving too. So we're in the boot menu right now, I guess. So it's just like doing the RAM thing again. What I did is I switched the SATA port from the blue one to that one, which is the external SATA. I thought maybe that one, I mean, if you look at that one right there, that one, I thought maybe that would help. It didn't. Then I tried calling HP support and they said they're not going to help me basically since I don't have a warranty. So I put it into the light blue one. And look at that. It's detecting it. Disc one. Tobisha. 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 If it's loading to Windows, I'm going to be really happy. F1 is boot. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do it. Oh my god. No way. Oh my god, guys. I just hope that it's not going to call the issue. I believe that one time, like the first time it gets in, I'm going to download the newest drivers that I can. So I'm going to get the graphics driver. I'm going to get the newest CPU driver, like the best drivers I can. Then I'm going to put everything back. And I'm going to hope that when I turn it back on, um, it just kind of boots back up normally. And it also is a hard drive. So it's going to take like a minute or so to turn on, but I'm not really bothered by that. Something really cool about these PCs, too, is that uh, on the side of them, they actually come with the activated Windows 7 Pro key. Okay. This could be an issue. Actually, no, I'm just going to reinstall Windows then. Because I'm just going to, I have to plug in a mouse for this, but I'm just going to reinstall Windows. Because I actually do have my Windows USB plugged in, too, to install Windows. So I'm just going to reinstall Windows 10. Get a fresh install. I hope that it comes activated. Because if not, then I'll just activate it with the key again. So pull up my mouse again. This is a really old mouse. Now let's go over to next. Maybe repair your computer. Let's look at that. Okay, let's just go back. Oh, now, now we're too late. I'm just gonna boot it down, unplug that USB, and boot it back up. Cause I don't want to boot into that menu. I want to boot right into the hard drive, so I can. Cause I already have Windows. So let's boot it back up after I just unplugged it. And let's hope we get good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Maybe it's doing it since like the hard drive is detected and stuff. Or it's gonna be stuck on the screen. gonna be stuck on the screen all right so I got it just booted and then I don't even feel the hard drive spinning and before I physically felt felt it spinning let's unplug it plug it back in I'll give it one more chance I 
feel the hard drive spinning, so. No, it's gonna do this. All right, I'll I'll get back to you guys when uh, I'm gonna try plugging that USB again and see if I can do a clean reinstall on uh, Windows or try to get back to that state. So I'll be back. Okay, so this is taking way longer than expected. I don't know what to do. I cannot get the computer back to that state. And now I was at a point to where even if I booted it without the hard drive, it would still show up that flash and like underscore screen. So I took out the battery again because that seems whenever I take out the battery, I guess it like removes the settings that I made. And then it loads. So I'm going to try to get into BIOS, see if I can enable hot swap hard drives, basically. And then whenever, like when I uh, get into, like when I'm in BIOS, plug in, plug in the hard drive and then see. So let's see if I can do something with storage. Device configuration. So if you see, it's popping up the USB drive, which is really good. We're going to do automatic for that. This USB is popping up, but that USB is Windows install, storage options, removable media boot, enable. That could be an issue. Okay. Just going to put that back to normal. Oh, that's for a raid. I'm not doing a raid, so we're not going to do that. Boot order. I don't have anything else, so that's not going to help. Let's see if I can find something with master boot record security. Yeah, disable that. Startup security level. Okay. Max data speed, ease removable. I'm just trying to find it. I don't want to plug it in right now you know let's try plug it in the hard drive right now i don't know like the worst it can do besides not work and then like uh like not boot into it i doubted it could like break it so we're just gonna plug up the hard drive right now i feel it spinning I just plug in the power. So now, good hopes, good hopes, good hopes, and boot order. It's not there. Let's try device configuration and see if it's there. It's not there. I wish I could do it so boot order is. Well, I have an idea. This is how I could get into. So if I just go, can I just boot? If I could just, it just, it just sometimes freezes, like it just froze, it makes no sense. Hard drive still spinning. I want to try to, I think like when you click F1, it just kind of freezes it. So I want to try to, I should unplug the system first. Let's, I know this is not going to do anything, but let's just get connection hooked up. Even though it's not going to do anything. I just feel like, I don't know why, I just feel like it should be hooked up. I'm going to boot without the hard drive without the battery. Come on, let's get into the menu. This has been about 30 minutes now that we've been doing this. Now we're on the stuck blue HP screen. Clear CMOS battery. This is getting to be pretty annoying. Just give me the bio screen, please. I have an idea on what to do. I'm gonna boot using the USB, and then when I boot with the USB, I'm gonna like plug in the hard drive, and then try to install Windows that way. Because people say you should install it on the computer. I've been searching up this stuff for about 10 minutes now, and I can't find anything. People are saying, oh, just open up CMD and edit in the config there, but how am I supposed to open up CMD when this is the only screen I'm getting, so? This is pretty stressful. 
I don't know if I should just unplug it, leave it for like 10 minutes, and then just come back to it later and try it. Let me try unplugging that too. Just, I have nothing plugged in besides everything I basically need. Last try doing this. If it doesn't wait like 10 seconds for it to run out of its energy, this is the green light on the board still lit up and it's off. Last try doing this, and then I'm just gonna give it a break for 10 minutes. Okay, we got that screen again, set up. And then when I'm doing set up, plug in the hard drive, plug in the SATA first, then do the power. I hear it turn on and start spinning and stuff. We're still going on the setup screen. You guys can't really see it, but. This video is probably gonna be like a 30 minute video too. I'm just gonna take all the clips, just put them all together. And it's probably not gonna end until I get this fixed. Well, over, unless it gets to a point so bad. Okay, 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 okay. Disc one detects it. If you're running Unix, you need to configure your system using. What is it gonna boot with? That's my question. Let's I'm not let's let's just see what it does. Let's see what it does if I do boot. I think it's gonna boot into the USB again. Okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hard drive. Come on. No. Okay, so it detects the boot drive, and whenever I select so whenever I have it plugged in and I boot, it's trying to boot from here. So I'm just going to leave it on this screen for like t maybe 10 minutes while I go and eat something. And I'll be back to you guys because for all I know, I just booted. I like made sure it's booting from the hard drive. So it's basically whenever it's booting from the hard drive, this is what's happening. So I'm going to come back to you guys in like 10 minutes after um, I let it sit for a little bit. I might go get something to eat. And then because uh, someone said they left it all on their screen for 20 minutes and it's booted. These are all like HP forms. I'm looking at trying to fix this. And there's not really much for it, so I'll just leave it on this screen. If I come back, still nothing in there. I'll probably try booting from the USB drive and installing Windows on the hard drive using this computer, and we'll go from there then. I'll see you guys then. Okay, guys, so after about another 30 minutes, I just got back from Eden. I plugged the hard drive back in. Nothing working. It kept coming up to that blue screen again, so finally I got back to this screen. So I'm gonna try booting from the SanDisk, um, like the Windows install media. I'm gonna try booting from that this time. Okay, boot menu. Okay, boot, and it should say what you wanna boot from. And then, yes, USB device. And then I'm just gonna be reinstalling Windows over that and hoping, hoping, praying, praying, cross, crossing my fingers that it works because if it doesn't i seriously do not know what to do um i guess i'm probably just gonna be calling it quits there or like the last thing i'll probably try doing is using a different sata cable and then just um not using this pc or i might just order like one sata cable off amazon so i get it within two days and then not have to wait like a week to get it so i'm just gonna pray that um if I install it on this computer, like, it'll configure it for this computer. Because, like, some maybe, like, an issue is, like, this, uh, processor can only do 32-bit, and that's a 64-bit version of Windows. I'm thinking it might be something like that could be an issue of it. I should actually research right now to make sure to, like, uh, check what type of bit this system is. Okay, next. Install now. Setup is started. Okay, so, um, here, since right now I'm just going to say I don't have a product key, but I'm going to try using the one from the side of the computer again. I'm just going to do Windows 10 Home. And 
install Windows and keep files. I want to install Windows. So, this is, which one is a USB drive? This is the one we want to use. So, why can't I use it? Can we format it? Why can't we use it? The select drive is of the GP GPT portion. Hmm. What is load driver? Oh, it's like um physically load drivers. Okay. Um, the last time I try is like a repair your computer thing. Command prompt. I could, I should, I should be able to switch that hard drive over to what it has to be in this. So I'll be back with you guys. Okay, so we are back onto the screen and I already plugged in the hard drive. So I'm again crossing my fingers so hard that this works. I would scream out if this works. But so if I would count it worked if we could install Windows on it. But if uh, that doesn't work, I really don't know what. I'm going to be able to, what I'm going to do, if that does not work, is detect the hard drive again. So I just have to boot the PC from the USB drive. Boot, and then it should pop up what I want to boot with, and I'm just going to do USB. Yep, USB device. Then it should load into the installation again. Yep. Like I said, I did convert the... The hard drive. It was like you can't convert, uh, you can't install Windows on it. I'm guessing there's gonna be another error. No one might look, so then I'm just gonna try to fix that error, whatever it is, and just keep doing these errors. But if it does install Windows, then I'm probably gonna put like plug in the optical drive again and start cleaning up my little desk area and start getting it ready to be put there, and then uh. Yeah, just wait after that and just hope that everything works out perfectly. Then set up the other monitors and like, set up that cable. I am a little bummed out, bummed out that this was a display port because like from the picture you couldn't really tell, but it really did look like a US uh, HDMI in. But I was really happy I had that converter. I'm not using it right now because it was like too hard to like look at a screen that was all over on my like, chair. Okay, again, I do not have a product key. I do, but I'm not going to put it in right now. Windows 10 Home. I would like to put Windows 7 on it, but I feel like Windows 10 would just be the easiest right now. Oh, it gives me the next. Oh my god. Oh my god. No freaking way, guys. No way. Okay, I'll get back to you guys when this is uh, done or it's coming close to done. Also, I know that there are going to be a few people from uh, Linus Tech Tips forums because I've been doing kind of a uh, build guide or like a blog post on this whole entire system. And I believe it was like one person that requested a video. So this is why I'm doing literally everything from the point where I unboxed it because I knew there was at least going to be an issue. So this is going to be a pretty long video because this is just going to be a lot of troubleshooting during this video and my experience of this. So I'll keep you guys updated. Alright guys, so it's been about maybe five minutes and we're at finishing up. I was just kind of dusting off my main heater here. So let's see what's going to go happen. I was kind of afraid of something like a uh, freezing. Okay, window needs to restart. Restart now. Oh, 
I'm hoping that it's booting into uh, Windows right now and not booting into USB. Because if it boots into Windows, then we're done. All I'm going to do if it boots into Windows is install the graphics driver because I already looked and there is an like, up-to-date one. The, like the latest one, it came out probably about 10 years ago if I can remember. Remember, I'm not going to be using this computer for gaming. It's going to be a streaming computer so I don't really need... Uh, okay. So it booted into the Windows setup again. So let's see if you can shut it down. Shut it down and unplug that USB drive. And then do a boot menu real quick. Just spam F9 for a boot menu. Okay, so the USB drive is not plugged in right now. I can show you it. So that means I think we're actually booting into Windows right now then. Because it's going to go to like the second device plugged in. trying to get to focus eh. I don't know why but I'm just determined there you go let's see what happens I'm really interested to see if you guys are also interested, I might do benchmarks of this computer to see what you get to get for a sixty dollar I guess if you wanted to call it a gaming computer. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Come on. Starting services. This is brand new. This is like a brand new thing that's happening on this. I never saw this before. I never saw it come out with this screen before. Let me see if I can set you guys up on my keyboard. So I don't have to be like holding my phone the whole time. No, it's not gonna work. It would be like that, which is pretty bad. But it says getting ready. Come on. For this we got so far. Let me just take a sip of my drink and let's not spill it on the computer. So we're gonna back up a little bit. Getting ready. It's been about an hour of troubleshooting for this thing, of just turning it on and off and on and off and taking out the CMOS battery. But if we get it booted up, then I'm pretty sure that issue's fixed, so then I'm just going to start putting everything back together one by one. Like putting one thing in, starting the computer and seeing if it works. But this is like the first time it's booted Windows, so and it's probably like the first time it's booted Windows in about a year or so. For the actual computer. Even like I said, the the computer when it first came with a HD 4550, which is a really old card, and I put a 6450 in it, which is a little bit newer. As you can see, this one, that's the one I put in it. This was about $10 on Amazon, I mean on eBay, and this is the one that came with it. Just look at the just look at those ports. I don't even know what they're called. So I'm just gonna call them ports, but they're really old. So my plan for this computer is to put eight gigabytes of RAM in it because I already found the identical, like the same exact type of RAM that this computer has online. Fifteen dollars for another four gigabyte stick. So I'm gonna make a dual channel eight gigabyte. Then I'm gonna upgrade the CPU from an i5 7750 to a Xeon X3 X3400 I think it is <laughs> it is it is it's like $20 on Amazon and then get like a GT 1030 right, this is taking a while
Okay, I will uh, start recording again when this says, like, when it fully loads up or if something happens, because I don't want to be looking and make you, like, you guys look at a getting ready screen for the next minute or two minutes. Okay, so it seems like it did it on, uh, it just kind of went black from that auto ready screen and it just kind of didn't reboot, I think. And now let's see where it goes. Okay, back into the window screen. Actually, I can probably set you guys up on my speaker that I have here. Like that. No, it's going to be terrible. Eh. Let's do... Can I put my speaker... No, I'm, I'll just hold it. I'll just hold it. Okay, so it's a new screen. It went got rid of the Windows logo right there thing. Yep, and it's back. I did not think it was gonna just like gonna be this complex, but I'm kind of happy I started recording it from the beginning. I thought it was just gonna be put the hard drive in, start it up, we're good to go. I thought it was just gonna be like that. Oh, uh, I think this is the window setup. I think this is the window setup, which means we're in Windows. I think we're in Windows setup right now. Oh my God! I wanna, I wanna start. I can. I'm, I'm. This is gonna sound dumb, but I kind of wanna like name my computer since that's a thing some people do. So I have to get a name for my main computer. It's kind of a mess right now. If you can see, like my three random front fans they're a little bit dusty and um then what should i name this then this is just mess and while that was um going through like getting ready i started like already packing it up the old card because i'm gonna start i'm gonna actually list that card on ebay for ten dollars fifteen shipping too like fifteen for the shipping like so five dollars for shipping ten dollars to buy it just because um, it's some extra money that I could get back, and then I might put that money to get CPU or to get the other sticker ring. Because I'm never going to use that card again. So I'm going to go and set up the computer, and then when we are on the desktop, or when, uh, if something else happens, like something goes wrong, I will get back to you guys. Guys? Guys, it just loaded. It just booted into Windows. I already plugged in my Ethernet cable. So the first thing I want to do is um, check Task Manager and see um, like everything is... Um, I'm going to go into Devices and Manager in a second. So CPU is at 99%. What? Why is that like that? Oh, it was just... Okay, Ooh, I like how it shows the power usage, too. So, our disk is going to be... Is at 100 right now, which I don't like either, but... Okay, let's first go into... Why don't we have an activate Windows lane, too? That's kind of weird. So, I'm just going to do... Device and manager, or like a device manager. Piece of dust inside my keyboard, which is really annoying. Oh well, I'll get it to later. So I want to make sure that. So can we go to monitor? Yeah, my monitor is there, and I don't know why I would do that. Ooh, okay, that's an issue. AMD Radeon HD 7000 series. This is a 6540, I think it is, or 6450. That's an issue. Um, 64 base, I, well, processors, yep, processors being picked up, let's go into control panel now, so, the only really issue, like, the only real issue I'm detecting right now is that it thinks we have a 7000 series card, when we definitely do not, because they are a lot more expensive, so I did not get one. They're about like 
30 or 40 dollars more i don't know why i keep doing that system system four gigabytes of ram yep right system windows 10 home windows is not activated all right that's what i thought uh everything seems good here too i like the four gigs of ram i like it a lot to not build them but i like how the cpu is detecting exactly what it is so uh, i'm just gonna install a few things uh and the first thing i'm probably gonna be doing is installing google chrome then get on the drivers for the graphics card to hopefully it picks it up and i'll get back to you guys when everything is the way that it's supposed to be and how my new i guess you could call it streaming setup will be guys guys it is up and running the air social streaming pc is up and running so as you can see on like my main screen right here we have the display and then over here the display all sound works so if you see over here if i come over here and like i put it to all the way up you can see the game audio so everything works i've been trying for this for the longest time now to get something like this and i believe this computer should have enough power to do um like this one right here i believe it should, i believe it should have enough power to do 720p 60 fps that's what i'm praying for I only discovered one issue right now while I'm installing the graphics driver because I'm trying to hope to see if that would fix the issue because even in the Elgato software, if you come over here and look, it says AMD 7000 series. So I might actually be able to use the card to uh, render or decode, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if that's a good idea or not because it's not really like the best card. I'm just kind of using it since I don't have any other choice and it was like the cheapest thing I could find, but it's still pretty decent. I doubted it would be able to do it, so I might have to like put all the strain on the CPU, which could do it because the CPU is, I'm not going to say it's the worst, but I'm not going to say it's the best. But one issue I discovered, if you look in Task Manager, the disk usage is always at 100. I believe that's my hard drive, and it's something with my hard drive, because my hard drive is pretty slow. But that's also because I have two things installing right now. Oh, it's because, uh, what do you call it? Because this, it's doing a live capture. I never do that. It's dumb. I would just rather, uh, stream than have it record. There you go. One of my, uh, next purchases I'm probably going to be making is a stream deck, though. And I'm be putting that, like, right there. Right now, what this is, this is just, like, a, something for a simulator game. But if I really wanted to, I probably could use this as a stream deck. Because I could get a Joy to Key thing, and then uh, whenever I wanted something, like, say, for example, if I want to stop recording, I could hit that, and it would, like, click the button for stop recording, or I could just click, like, the button. So, apparently, I was also installing the graphics driver. Uh, I'm just going to install everything. Because I don't have anything installed for it right now. So it looks like uh, Windows and in, like installed their own little Catalyst Control Center, but I should really get uh, this software. I'll show you it on my main computer. It's this. It's Display Driver Uninstaller. I use that on my computer and it works wonders because the other program is too busy. Retry. You open it up, softwares. Like I said, a few things I have to do, though, is upgrade the RAM, because you can see the usage is at, like, 65, because Windows 10 loves the RAM. And I might have to get an SSD and then install Windows, or I think it should be fine. It's just that this is using a lot right now, because nothing else seems to be peaking like that. So, that's basically the video end of the video, because I'm going to start transferring this over to my computer now, putting it all together, uploading it, and then we will be all good. Thank you guys for coming on for this probably about 20 minute long, 30 minute long, I don't know how long it's going to be yet, journey. Uh, there will probably, probably be a stream tonight on uh, probably like GTA 5 or I don't know, Minecraft, I, I just don't really know. So just stay updated and I will let you guys no, or I'll just post it down below my Twitch, and you can just add me on Twitch, and then you'll see you tonight. So, peace.
Yo, what's up guys? Future Air Social here. So, all I'm going to be saying right now is that if you guys were interested in like the specs that the computer are, is I will leave them uh, down in the description. And I will also leave like the total price of uh, how I got everything for $60 in case anybody was interested. So overall, I would say that this was like a really good deal. And I would definitely recommend this to anybody who's looking to create a pretty cheap computer because I feel like... Uh, it was totally worth it. So yeah, like and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this and follow the Twitch below.